Hello everyone, this is Corel Roy, also known as Amaterasu002. I got a request from my friend 2446MattDog. He asked me how to, um, how do I record my PSP videos in high quality and they're not in HD. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you requirements first. Of course, you need Remote Joy to record for PSP. Now, I'm going to tell you this while I got you. Now, on Impact, when I was recording my walkthrough, it was freezing in some parts. I found out by switching to Remote Joy version 20. Hey, this is version 19 right here, as you can see in the corner. And as you can see right here as well, I, I record my PSP videos with fraps. I, don't, I do not record my PSP, PSP videos with Camtasia or any other one. Fraps is the best one you can actually get. And I'm going to show you my frap settings here. And as you can see, this is the full fraps. I'm going to give you a link to the full fraps. And this is the latest one, by the way. And I'll give you a link in Mediafire. Here are my own uh, settings for those who are interested in using fraps. Let me just hide the overlay. <coughs> now, let's get to the video. Now, I'm going to record this video. Now, notice I got the Japanese version this time of Impact. Um, I'm, I finished my Impact walkthrough. Next, I'm going to be making my generations and finishing it. Cause since I got this video cable, now let's get to the video. I'm gonna record the um a little video from Remote Joy right now. As you can see here, I'm using Mizukage. I'm using the cheat so you can play as her. I'm gonna give you a link to the cheat as well. Well, that's enough. Let's stop it right here. Now, you can X out remote joy. Notice that I didn't record the sound because if I put the sound in, you guys couldn't hear my voice. You know that? Remember, if you are recording with Impact and some games freezed on version 19, use this from version 20. I'll give you a link to that as well. Now, you see I got one rendering already. This is the last walkthrough to side story. Now, let me show you my settings for it. First, you get your video, which is right here. Let me just drag it here. <coughs> Sorry, but I got a cold. Now, the full screen, I'm going to show you my properties. You get, now, if you're in America, you get this one right here. Internet 360, oh, and it's 30p, wide screen, wide screen. And it's 360p, and make sure it's in this setting. If you live in Europe, from PAL version, you get this one right here. With 25, with 25 frame rates. But since I live in America, I'm going to get this one. Leave these all the way as it is and get the full resolution from preview or good and change to best. Leave this as it is right here. Put this blend field and go to the next one. Audio. Change to the latest from 24 and best. Keep these two as the default setting. And the rest, well, you just leave it up to the best, to the rest as default. Now for this one, you leave this one square, even though it says square, but when you finish rendering it, it won't be square. It'll be widescreen. Don't mess with any of these settings. Now, for the audio, but to change it, because on YouTube you'll get copyright. To change that, go to here, method, and change to classic. Now change this zero right here to a 5 and hit OK. 
move this up here so we can capture all views because if you leave it you'll just render a black screen now go to oh yeah and by the way do not mess with these in the video properties right here because you will reduce your quality I figured that out a few minutes ago now go to render as sorry it's taking a while because I'm already rendering a video Now, let it load the rendering template. <coughs> now, you see this mark? Just choose 360 widescreen and do not mess with any settings. Oh, and by the way, I'm running Sony Vegas 11.0 Pro. Now go under main concept AVC AAC slash, and it's called MP4, and choose the widescreen settings. Just save it. It's anything you want. I'm gonna save this one as test. Now notice over here. If you don't see anything, that stands for just do this. Just stop it and do it again. Because sometimes you will get a black screen and then you will make a mistake and render a black screen. It took me a while to um, get past through this. See? It's in the background. Well, thanks for watching. And this is for to get 360p the best quality out of it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I hope you guys will watch my YouTube channel. I'm going to turn off the video for more. And stay tuned because Ultimate Generation, Ultimate Storm Generation walkthrough for Itachi is coming up next. Okay, everyone, that was everything. And I hope this video helped you. Thanks and bye bye.